Hello and welcome to the NevilleResearch.com video. Today we're going to look at one of the most important discoveries I have made in the National Archives. It is a letter sent from London on May 1600 to Henry Neville. At that time, Henry Neville was the ambassador to France. He was in France. It's not clear who wrote this letter. Uh, this letter looks like an R to me, though it could be a K or a D. And then this last name is hard to read. Um, it could be Kelly or even looks like it could be Henry or something. I'm not sure what this is. So if you know, please, <laughs> please contact me and let me know if you recognize the signature or are able to read it. Um, in any case, this letter connects to Shakespeare in two ways and gives us some important information about what was going on with Henry Neville in 1600. So let's just uh, read it through a little bit. It says, Sir, I did not a whit mistake what I writ unto you concerning the letters for proof whereof Humphrey Flood. Now, who was Humphrey Flood? Humphrey Flood was a courier from England to France at that time. He was used as a courier, a diplomatic courier, and also Humphrey Flood was part of the Bellot versus Mountjoy case that William Shakespeare was involved in because William Shakespeare was living in the same house for a while as Humphrey Flood's stepson. So Humphrey Flood is connected uh, somewhat directly to William Shakespeare and he's somebody that Henry Neville knew because he Neville knew him as a courier. And I'll give you some more evidence about that in a minute. Now, it says here that Humphrey Flood assureth me he saw my Lord of Southampton's letter to me upon a table in your house laid down amongst many other letters. So Flood assured the author of this letter that the Lord of Southampton's letter was on this table in Neville's house. And the letter goes on and explains that the letter was, was lost. Now, it seems like Neville wrote this person a letter complaining that he lost this important letter from Southampton. Now, we know that Neville was connected with the Earl of Southampton because they were they conspired together in the Essex Rebellion and they were imprisoned together for the Essex Rebellion and released on the same day after the death of Queen Elizabeth. So, and after that, they were political allies and remained friends they were connected with the Virginia company together and in many other ways so we know of the connection between them and in Henry Neville's confession relating to the Essex rebellion he he says that he hasn't seen Southampton hadn't seen him since Southampton was a child now that only means he hadn't seen him since 1594 because that's when Southampton reached the age of majority. However, this letter 
shows that there was some communication between Neville and Southampton before then. During that period when supposedly they never met, there was some communication. There is this letter. Neville appears to have been very concerned about this letter that was lost. Uh, presumably it was a letter to him or about him or concerning something that concerned him. So this is a very important piece of evidence. It gives us a little bit of insight into Neville's connection with Southampton. Of course, Southampton is a key figure in the works of Shakespeare because the first two works of Shakespeare published under Shakespeare's name in 1593 and 1594 are dedicated to Southampton. So this letter is an extremely important document. It connects uh, Neville with two people connected to Shakespeare. Humphrey Flood, who was connected to Shakespeare personally, and Southampton, who's somebody who's connected to the works of Shakespeare very directly. So um, that is this document. And here is a letter from Ralph Winwood to Henry Neville. This w letter is from 1600 after Neville had returned to England and Winwood was still in uh, France. And uh, Winwood writes, I have not written since my last by Mr. Flood. So here, Winwood is referring to Humphrey Flood, who is their courier. And so, uh, you know, establishes again very clearly that Henry Neville knew Humphrey Flood. Now, it makes perfect sense that Humphrey Flood was a courier because he was uh, married to a woman from France. And it's her stepson that was involved in this um, lawsuit that Shakespeare was deposed or uh, did a deposition for and Flood did a deposition for. So this connection between Flood and Shakespeare and Neville is, is really beyond question. It, it fits all the facts and this is the same Humphrey Flood we're dealing with here. So please visit my blog and you can see a full transcription of this letter as well as the letter itself you can read. And this is the type of historical documentary research that Neville researchers are engaged in. We are involved in the study of history, in getting the details right, and tracing the composition of the works of Shakespeare. So I'll be sharing many more documents on this YouTube channel. Please subscribe, click like, and tell your friends. Thank you.